People from overseas come and spend a lot of money to hunt them. I think it's disgusting. Killing these lions while they have no no way of defending themselves and it's just, it's terrible. Tourists pay top dollar to come and murder, cowardly murder, drug lions. The fact that we are legalizing it and it's a sporting, it's fun for us. So we're ashamed of saying no, we couldn't stop it. A global march in more than 60 cities all over the world demanding that canned lion hunting be banned. Killing captive bred lions has become a big money spinner in South Africa, where American and European trophy hunters kill hundreds of these animals every year. Several marches also took place in South Africa today, and Follow the Spur was fortunate to join the march in Cape Town, where he spoke to Chris Mercer from the campaign against canned hunting. Uh, there are two things we're hoping to achieve with this. First of all, the numbers have risen to over 60 cities now, all marching today for South African lions. And the reason is that all over the world, decent people realize that wildlife heritage belongs to all of us and should not be commoditized. We also spoke to Fiona Miles, representing Four Paws South Africa at the march. Four Paws is involved because we've been campaigning for, for lions for many years already and um, we're involved because this is now a massive united stand internationally and around the world a global effort to raise this issue to the governments of the world and to say this has got to end. The size of the canned lion hunting industry in South Africa is vast with more than 8,000 lions currently in captivity waiting to be killed and exported as trophies. Well it's not going to help much to ban the further breeding of lions in South Africa because we should never underestimate the resourcefulness of lion farmers. If that happens, the 8,000 lions or so in captivity here will vanish like smoke and they'll reappear in adjoining countries like Mozambique and Zimbabwe and Namibia and it will be business as usual for them. So as a matter of strategy, we've determined that we have to shut off the flow of funds to the industry overseas. That's the only way we're going to close this dreadful industry down. And so we're working in order to get a ban on the import of trophies to Europe and to the United States. The, the main target is of course the international market. There's a massive market overseas to, to hunt lions. Um, and that's, that's, that's the target. We want line, uh, trophies to be banned from being exported to and imported in the USA and Europe. There are fewer than 4,000 wild lions left in South Africa. And Chris Mercer warns that these animals could be next on the Asian poaching list. Unfortunately, uh, Chinese traditional med medical practitioners prefer the bones of wild lions which they believe are more potent than the bones of captive bred ones. So there's no doubt that we're going to see a surge in poaching of lions similar to what we're seeing at the moment with rhino uh, and that will be solely due to the incredible foolishness of the South African conservation authorities in allowing such a toxic industry to take root and grow. Today's march in Cape Town culminated with the handing over of a memorandum of protest to South African Member of Parliament Mario Oriani Ambrosini. It's now up to the governments of South Africa and the rest of the world to take action and ban the importation of any and all forms of lion hunting trophies and lion bones.